I'm an Australian and I've been on the front line of the so-called freedom movement for the last four to five years. And this is my take on the USA elections and the impact that it could have on us and of course on America itself, but the rest of the world really. Now, I was living in Victoria, Australia during the worst lockdowns in the entire world, closely followed by Canada, of course. And I've been on the front line of the freedom movement campaigning for common sense for the last four to five years. And I can tell you now that what has just happened with the USA election absolutely brings hope to the entire world, not because of Trump, but because of what he represents. He represents change. He represents common sense. He represents going backwards on wokeism and starting to look at what is actually best for the people, for the economy. And he says the things that so many people are scared to say. Let me tell you now, 99.9% .9 of people do not think that men can have babies, okay? But are too scared to say it. Trump, is, Trump represents the kind of life where we might be able to say what we think again, okay? Trump said that he wants to get rid of gender ideologies in schools. He wants to keep men out of women's sports. This, these are all things that 99.999% of people want, and he's not too scared to say it. So him winning in a landslide, it, wasn't a, it was not a close race. Him winning in a landslide gives every single person permission to speak their mind on those particular topics. If you want to say that you think it's possible the pharmaceutical companies are in cahoots with the government and they uh, you know, approve things without going through the proper process, you can now say that because Robert Kennedy Jr. is gonna clean that mess up, right? Also, you had the, t the I think people voted for Trump's team, not necessarily for Trump. You had successful businessmen like Elon Musk, like Dr. Phil, respected people in society. You had him, you had them on Trump's campaign trail, but on Kamala's campaign trail, you literally had the entire guest list of the P. Diddy party. This is really embarrassing. The only people she could get to endorse her were B-grade celebrities who have no standing in society except for on a film or on a screen, who have no political standing or professional standing whatsoever. Who is going to take Cardi B seriously? She literally wrote a song called getting my you know what wet okay these are the people that you're going to take political advice from no you're going to take advice from people like dr phil from people like elon musk so i don't think people voted for trump they voted for what he represented they voted for the economy they voted to stop illegal immigration and what this does is it does give the rest of the world hope that conservative family values are coming in like a wave that cannot be stopped. My friends, wokeism is on its way out. I'm telling you, it's yesterday's news. They've had their fun for about 10 years. They've gone too far. They're now doing late-term abortions at nine months. They're now letting children say that they can be cats and they're endorsing it instead of giving them the mental help that they actually need. They're actually coercing them into thinking that this is normal. Children are being taken away from their parents because the parents are trying to discourage their children from, I don't know, cutting off their private bits, okay? And the parents get criminally charged for it. It's gone too far. It's gone too far. And Trump's not afraid to say it. And that is why I respect that man for that particular reason. But I'm very excited about Robert Kennedy Jr. getting into the health industry. I'm very excited to see if Trump will follow through on getting the woke agenda out of the schools. And I think it's really hopeful for every common sense person around the world. Now is the time to start speaking your mind. If it's not now, it's never. The wave of uh, waking up is happening right now. Now, all these people are already awake, but now you have the safety to say it. So say it, tell your truth, whether it's right or wrong, have those hard discussions, make those confronting comments because now is the time, wokeism is out, conservatism, common sense is in. So I'm very, very excited about this for the world actually. So uh, hopefully this sort of trend happens all over the world and Australia next at our federal election in May. Anyway, that's it for now.